Gracious good morning to all and all present here. I am Prince Papajan, the principal of Virus Public School, taking you all for a virtual inspection tour of the senior secondary affiliation of CPSC. We can see here the Virus Public School as affiliated with the CPSC board with an affiliation number 1930376 and a school code 55331. We are standing in front of the campus. You can see here my campus has got a beautiful entry. It's the main entrance area. We will be proceeding inside and we will be visiting all the areas concerned with the CPC inspection of senior secondary. We will be visiting all the infrastructure facilities what we are providing here. The school is located in Pudukote district and it is a semi-arid region and we have a seven acres of campus. This place, this Pudukote, belongs to the king, a Thunder Man's family. Just I want to give a small introduction about the Pudukote district and the low rainfall here. The temperature of the Pudukote is normally 37 degrees maximum and 17 degrees Celsius is the minimum temperature here. Now, here the main cultivation is sugarcane, banana and groundnuts. The people are, majority of the people are farmers and the school is located in a semi-urban areas. Now, let us looking at the key highlight factors of the senior secondary affiliation via your virtual inspection. It's my pleasure to take you for a campus tour so that we can see the key highlights of the campus, especially looking at the lab facilities, other infrastructure facilities. The school is governed by the Board of Governance of Sudarshan Education Trust. The members, they have a lot of schools as well as colleges they are running successfully throughout Putukote and nearby districts. So well, let's go have a glance at the various features, the facilities that we are providing in our campus. Thank you. Let's have a look. Now when we are moving into the main area, this is the entrance area of the campus. This entrance area of the campus, in both sides we can see that flowers and has been arranged and it's giving a, a pleasant, a positive energy for my learners. This is key highlights of this campus and the campus is having the two gates. This is the entrance gate. I repeat, this is only the entrance gate where the students will be moving into the main campus area which is bounded or supported by strong walls of brick walls. So this is an entrance area to key highlights to attract and both sides we can see the lawns have been kept there to make use of effectively and make an have positive energy when they enter into the campus. And majority of these plants has been been planted by our learners only. This is to as a part of the activity in the department of the science which has taken the initiatives for that one. The campus cleanness, maintenance and the social harmony, everything is maintained with the support of the students. In order to bring the good habit, quality is among the learners. It is our responsibility to bring the values among them, life skill values among them. Also, the social aspects, social clubs are actively involved in making my campus a beautiful one. Especially this campus is been fully, fully, fully having the green plantation throughout the campus and also we have mango orchards in our campus. These are some of the features that have campus is up area. Now coming through this lawn area, the main entrance area, it's nearly around 100 meters long entrance area. Then only we'll be coming to the, the main campus of the building. You can see that from here, you can see the main campus, the building is there, which is having supported by strong boundary walls and a strong gate that support and provide the safety and security for, for students. Also, the campus is having 24 hours surveillance of camera which has been monitored through by the administrative department in our campus. It's also this camera has been accessed by our management of trustee members so to ensure the safety of our children in this campus. Also, we have a small temple for the prayers when the students are interested, they can come and they can have the prayer here. Especially we are using this one during the time of the examination and other areas, important celebration time and all students will come and gather here. They will have a small prayer to take the blessings of the God. Now, let's move into the main campus where we will be seeing the important areas of the grounds and other infrastructures provided by the, our school for the support, enrichment, learning for our learners throughout the campus. Thank you. Now, we are coming to the main campus area. As I have told you, this is the main campus building. It has been bounded by strong boundary walls to protect and make sure the safety of our children in our campus. This is an entrance area. You can see here, it has got a strong rolling 
steel uh, uh, gates are there apart from that you can see here this is the compound walls have been complete protected compound walls are there entirely the campus is been protected by strong compound walls and this is the platform area where will be bus will be parking in the campus now if you look further let me give you a glimpses out from this point if you see students on my right hand side it's a playground area for our basketball students and the playground area this basketball court is according to the standards recommended by the basketball council also we have the stage or we can say the gallery for our students to be seated and to be watch the games and activities that is going on in this basketball court area so it is according to the standard and it's considered to be one of the best one around this town and a lot of people are coming here especially students those who want to participate for the cbc cluster events we always welcome irrespective of any schools they are working they can see this and they can utilize the facilities what we are providing to them towards my other side the left hand side is another playground area it is mainly focused for the coco and other minor activities for the students there we can see the bus parking slot area on that extreme corner that is a mango orchard where the outdoor learning habits will be taking classes will be taking place in the extreme corner area so this is the general outlook of the playground area of my campus and we got one more playground area that is behind the school building so there are three playground area deputed uh, dedicated for our students especially for the senior students primary students and middle aged students and they can all utilize the facilities what we are providing in our campus now let's go and see other important areas in connection with the cpsc affiliation of senior secondary the main infrastructure so the lab library and other facilities what we are providing for the students of senior secondary so we can move across now now we can see here still some work is going on because we are making more plantation and making sure the campus is ready to receive the student after the covid 19 pandemic as we know that due to covid 19 pandemic we schools were not running almost for 8 months right now and we are all here and making online classes that is going on happily with our students according to the terms and condition given by the cpsc and it's also considering the values and recommendations given by the tamil nadu state government online classes are going on teachers take the classes online through at home and whenever there is a need they used to come to the visit to the campus taking the reference material resource material what is required now we come to the the main lobby of the campus as we can see here this is the main lobby of the campus and this is the way teaching staff faculties everybody will be coming to this office and you can see there are two display boards have been given there one is administrative office and one is the principal office academic office building and you can see our reception desk any parents comes here they will be having meeting with the reception desk people and they will be interacting with the parents and get the confirmation information they will be proceeding to the next line of things we are open with the admissions going on still we are getting admissions because due to covid pandemic some of the admissions have been parents parents has not taken still that mission is going on and an online classes also going on successfully for last 6 months continuously now we will be visiting the lab library so let's have a glance first of all the library the facilities provided to our students for from kg to grade 10 now we will be moving to grade 11 and 12 so the facilities will be continuing adding that one it's already added apart from that let us see some of the other areas also the library is situated in the ground floor of the building this is to make sure that a calm and quiet environment for all learners so that they can effectively view the classes and all let me take a virtual tour to our library our library is well equipped with the, all the necessary books which is required for the students to meet the requirements in the modern century of 21st century here we are library we are focused on the two aspects one is the reading habits among our learners apart from that we have various reading programs that is going on in our campus such as dear time read aloud story time it's focused on age appropriate this program is continuously and successfully running in our campus 
Our vision, the vision of our management, the vision of school is a holistic education and good leadership among our learners. In order to focus and to bring the qualities and values among the learners, our library is equipped with the books which is required for the, according to the requirements of the age. Age appropriate books have been kept here and also we have periodicals that has been published and that is going on regularly. Now if you see and we also have a dedicated librarian in our campus, her name is Miss Jayasri and she is monitoring the progress of the students. As we know, silent place is the caption of every library where we have to keep it and make sure the students are quiet, keep quiet and read and enjoy the reading habits. We can see here the collection of books what we are given here, general reference, social science books which is for social science students, Tamil is a native language of Tamil Nadu which contains all literature belongs to Tamil Nadu and science books, fiction books and we also computer books, Hindi also another major language we are following, all these books have been kept here for students reference, even the yearbooks and everything general reference have been kept here for students reference. So library is well equipped for students and to meet the needs of the requirement in reading habits. We know that present generation we need to make the sure that the reading habits develop. When you can see here that we have provided the round table with four chairs will be there so that they can sit comfortably and read happily and quietly. Happy reading that is a motto for us. We have to make sure the students read, enjoy the reading habits and bring them more values into the reading skills. Now, regarding the records what we are maintaining in our campus, we can see here in time out time register, reference book stock register and stock issue register. Apart from that, we are also having the sample papers for the board examination students we are kept in this file. So the students of grade 10 always comes and take these reference books. Right now we know the pandemic situations, we are giving the support to the student by sending the soft copy of the sample papers and others we according to their needs. Also we have online program of communicative English going on successfully right now during the pandemic time as a request of the parent end. We also organize a virtual tour for our students we, and we also have various activities of physical education activities for our students during the pandemic time of the situation. Now let me take you to another place which is also very important as a part of CBC senior secondary affiliation process. We are going to visit the labs. Each lab will be visiting biology lab, physics lab, chemistry lab, mathematics lab, even will be visiting the classrooms that has been given to the grade 11 and 12 students. Let us have a glance. Let us continue our virtual tour. Now we are in the south block of the building. Now we will be moving to the south block, it is dedicated to the students of senior secondary and secondary phase. If you come in here, you can see there, there are steps are also there as well as we have the ramp which is dedicated for the students of the physically challenged students, we have the ramps for the for safety. This is a two specialized area we are providing. Apart from that, let us have a glance at the various classrooms. Each classroom will be having the smart board as well as the projector facility we have given for our students. Let us look at the grade 10 classroom. You can see the boards, grade 10 classroom. Now we are inside the grade 10 classroom and according to the age appropriate we have provided the chairs for them. We also have the cupboards where students can keep the books for them. And we are always ensuring that carry the less baggage. They should not carry much books with them. With that concept, we are always allow the students to keep the worksheet book and everything. What is required, they have to be kept here. And you can also see a projector and a smart board for the students of senior classes and as well as junior classes. When the classroom is taken, this is making the learning process, teaching learning process more flexible and interface between them is more accessible to them. To make sure that we are always ensuring that the continuity of learning inside this campus. Also we can see here we are monitoring students through our camera surveillances because we have to ensure the boys and girls even though we are making them aware about gender sensitivity it's also very important for us to make sure the safety of each and every student inside the campus meets. Now we can see here the speaker system, the announcement made by this principal will be audible to all our students inside the classroom. And we also taking care of the smart board and everything for the needs of our students. 
let's move out into other classroom areas and this floor is basically for the secondary and the senior secondary classroom and also the middle phase we have all the classrooms equipped with all the features according to their needs we can see here that is grade 10 now we'll be looking at grade 7 grade 6 then we'll be moving to grade 11 and 12 classroom which is already planned according to the cbc structure in classrooms in front of the door of the classrooms you can also see the timetable of the respective class has been mentioned there the timetable of the academic year 2020 21 will be visible this is to ensure that the students also should know that who is the teacher who is going to come to the next period this is a key feature of our campus unfortunately due to the covid pandemic situation we are not able to run any classes so it is continuously kept there and we are always been there online classes is going on with us now looking at the grade 11 and 12 the classroom which is already dedicated for the grade 11 and 12 after that we'll be seeing the washrooms facilities separated for boys and girls now let me take you to grade 11 classroom you can see here grade 11 classrooms according to the needs of the students age appropriate benches and desks has been given to them also the cupboards for they can keep the books when they are continuing the learning process here Here also you can see the speaker system, the camera, everything is given there for the students so that we can continuously monitor them and see how the learning process happens there. Even we have the good features like that, teachers, leaders will be observing the lessons of the teachers in the campus when they are taking the classes. Give the guidance, give the CPS empowerment program, capacity building program and the training programs continuously going on throughout the year. And this year, as we know that CBSC has come up with a new initiative that online training capacity building program and almost all my teachers has completed the capacity building program at various levels, including the capacity building program given by the various publishers at several times. It's an ongoing process and we are here to improve the learning of skills among our teachers too. We can see here the grade 2 classroom also same features has been given to them. And this classroom is also well equipped with the whiteboard as well as the green board and the chairs, benches and everything has been arranged. Cupboards are also kept for them for the new beginning for the new learners of the academic year 2021 onwards. We are happy that we are already ready with all the features as recommended by the CBSC to make sure that they take up the challenge of grade 11 and 12 students for the next academic year onwards. Because of the semi-urban area, the majority of the parents is request they want to continue the studies within the same campus so they feel the comfort happiness and joy of learning is ensured throughout this campus you can see here it's automatic digital bell is also placed it is the setting has been done according to the time which we are planning to give to the students it's automatically ring or it's an automatic bell now here also this is a corridor area we are also having monitoring continuously through the camera surveillances and this we are going to the down end once again where it's a platform or the bridge that connecting between the south block and north block and this area is very important area because this is area the teacher staff room the labs and everything is kept so that continuous monitoring of our students inside the campus is being monitored by our teachers physical education department so this is the main connecting area between the south block and the north block let me take you to the physics lab the physics lab is well equipped and the lab is according to the needs and standards of the recommendations given by the CPSC. We have a dedicated teacher, the physics senior faculty, Ms. Banumati is handling the lab. We can see here this is a unique design given by our management, it's octagonal shape. This is to make sure that a collaborative learning atmosphere for our students throughout the campus. This unique design has been taken by the management vision, Mr. Wilson Anand, who is a CEO and who is a board member advisor for the school management team. So you can see here this unique design has been given and all the materials have been kept. And we also have the cupboards according to the needs and requirement to meet the needs of the students of grade 11 and 12, all the material has been placed. 
yes we have placed so further lot of material yet to come due to covid 19 pandemic the materials has not been delivered by the particular agent but all the material which we required are in, already there only few material which has to come from that one so lab is well equipped to meet the challenges of grade 11 and 12 students in the coming academic year 2021 and 22 these are all the features and as we know that physics is basically a core element for highly competitive examination and learning by doing hands-on experience is very important for our learners and this lab will provide all the facilities for the learning by doing hands-on experimental learning or experiential learning for our learners in the coming years and it is continuously used by from grade 1 to grade 10 right now it's continuously they are using and all the registers have been maintained by them you can see the register there a stock register will be there as well as the movement register when the students are coming into the campus that also been maintained by the teachers so these are the features or physics lab now we'll go into another lab that is about the chemistry lab then also we will see the staff room that is placed in the same the bridging area between the south block and north block we can see here coordinators room this is our coordinator room is always accessible to our teachers in helping them in monitoring them and giving the proper guidance the coordinator is always accessible so he is also placed in the same floor to make sure that the observation continues and the support to the teachers and the students has been taken care of from his end we also have the the telephonic connection in the staff room as well as here in the coordinators room this is now i'll take you to small vision of the staff room we can see here the staff room with all the dedicated places for the teachers has been given in my campus i am having only 21 teachers because we are up to grade 10 right now and this all the teachers name has been displayed on the seating chairs and we have two computer system with a printer facility for accessible to the students so teachers will utilize the time effectively and the brainstorming section among each other and discussion about academic related activities planning also being taken care by the teachers with the support of each other okay now let's move into the chemistry lab we are be entering to the chemistry lab you can see how a chemistry lab is well equipped with all the modern requirement according to the needs and necessities of the cpc standards of senior secondary affiliation we can see the chemical racks are there and all the racks are there kept for all the experimental purpose including the gas burner benson burner and the gas connection has been given to the all the boards now if you see here uh, there is no chemicals i kept it here because the school has been almost shut down for seven months and as i mentioned that some of my faculties have been infected with the covid 19 as a precautionary measures by the local government bodies has been told to clean all the things and sanitization so you know the sanitization contain alcohol so we have made it sure that all the chemicals according to their instruction has been removed and cleaned and kept for a safety reason so that there should not be any safety hazards should not be there happening in this campus so all these precautions have been taken after that got the approval only we have decided to continue with the online we have to continue with the VIOS virtual inspection so for the safety reason only we have removed all the chemicals and all the racks all the chemicals powders reagents everything is kept in the cupboards to make sure that the needs of the students in this coming academic year for grade 11 and 12 so all the facilities have been well equipped including the wash basins also have been given for the students after the experiment for washing the purpose also here this is one consider all the necessities for their requirements also normally we ensure that all the gas connection is very prominent and important one we can see here the well safe and security purpose we have given a very prominent with according to the standards what is recommended in all the colleges universities schools what is the standard measurement is given there we have maintained all the safety measures in our chemistry lab you can see here the whiteboard for the teacher and the teacher's table also they are maintaining the record stock register and the movement register what when the classes are coming and going on now let me privilege that is my privilege to take the next room 
that is a physical education room since we know that we have only few students 247 families of students are there we have physical education department rooms which they are maintaining their all records and all the materials of various needs of the boys and girls have been kept inside for their need it's also been monitored by the two physical education department members Mr. Ramesh and Mr. Satyaraj. These are the two physically, all of them are qualified as per the standard rules or the qualification given by the CPSC. So you can see here all the requirement, materials, everything, and they're also maintaining various online activities. And we also got the Fit India certificate from the CPSC actively participating in Fit India programs. We also uploaded the yoga videos and other areas we are continuously become an integral part of the CPSC's various health and physical education activities. We also participate the cluster event. All these are important aspects to make sure that we support our holistic education for our learners according to our vision. Our vision once again is a holistic education and good leadership qualities are among students. So we ensure that every student attain minimum achievement level in their life that is our motto too thank you now we will be moving into the computer labs then we'll have a look at the biology lab and mathematics lab now we are moving into the north block which is dedicated only for the primary and pre-primary phases and kg also looking at this one this also has been camera surveillances there and also we have the safety precautions fire extinguishers has been given there to interact with the teachers from the main office the principal office and administrative office we have the intercom connection facility in this campus teachers when they take the classrooms they are not allowed to use the mobile because we have to ensure that students learn from us as a model or mentors also we have the softboard display for the students where they can creative works of the students can display here so it is everybody in this campus can see that's a creative work of the learners it has been ensured there so once again the safety here also you can see here the second bell has been given in the floor of the north side it's as i told you it's also digitally monitored or automatic bell system now this area is purely for the primary and pre-primary focused classrooms according to that if we go inside the classroom we can see the benches and tables or chairs everything suitable according to their size and needs let's have a small glance on some of these classrooms if we have a glance at the grade 3 classroom we can see the benches and chairs according to the size of the student also they have the same features which is available to everybody the shelves racks are there where they can keep their books and as I told you in the beginning that we are trying to reduce the bag weight among the learners and to bring them happy learning atmosphere in this campus. So we are providing all the facilities here. They will not be carrying much books. It's a less bag weight concept and they'll be completing their homeworks in this campus itself. These are the features provided and you can see here smart board is there and uh, we can see that digital projector also we can see here the camera is kept in the entire classroom to see how it is happening there so all these are features also provided to make sure that they'll come with a happy learning now let's have a glance on the computer lab we'll be visiting the computer lab now we have 17 systems in the computer labs and all the systems are working functionally well with according to the needs and the software which is required for their needs has been installed in all our system. There is a notice board and we have also the UPS system battery support is there that is given for continuously for our students so that even there is a power problem in this campus it can be compensated by the backup support that we are giving here. As you know that due to the pandemic situation, almost seven months, we are not able to utilize and we are cleaned and maintained everything still in a quality standards, we are maintaining it. And the registers also has been maintained here. And the teacher in charge, there are two teachers are there, one senior teacher and one primary teacher, two computer teachers are there involved in maintaining this computer lab safety measures. Miss Mathina, 
and Mrs. Divya. These are the two teachers who is monitoring the computer lab for the various activities of the students. And we have a dedicated timetable for them. According to the timetable, the teacher can take either into the lab class or according to the normal mode of class. You can see here the UPS system, battery support system is there, to continuously provide the power support in case even there is a failure inside, if there is failure in the power problems are there. So, it has been supported and maintained and all the systems are I3 and modified versions have been given to all our students. Here also you can see here the camera has been kept there, also the fire extinguishers have been kept there, the audio speaker system for the announcement also has been installed in all the classrooms. So that safety and listening to the instructions given by the principal desk has been monitored there. We can also hear the safety precautions measures we have ensured when they are using the computer labs, especially any pandemic situations there. So, these are the safety measures and this also has been recently sanitized due to one of our faculty who was sitting in the computer lab was suffered for the COVID-19. So, we have maintained the quality and standards according to the recommendations of the CPSC. Now, let me take you into another room. It is an activity room only for the students of KG and pre-primary. If you see here activity rooms, basically KG children are more bubbly and they want to do more activities. So, this is activity room for the KG children. They will be playing with the KG teachers and utilizing the time effectively in this room. We can see here the boards are there, the playing materials have been given there. One, two, three alphabets and also the various fruits, everything has been kept there. They have been utilizing that one for the various activities and the teacher will be having the oral assessment of the students in this activity room also. So, all these are learning by experiential learning. Experiential learning is a concept that we are following to make sure that all the students are actively involved in learning and there is a progressive attainment and progress among them. As we know that attainment we are doing in the beginning, uh, we will take the, the last year report card based upon that we judge the attainment and we continuously focus the progress based upon the other assessment that we continuously do in this academic year. Right now we are all focused on the activities that is happening through the online classes. We are regularly monitoring online classes and making sure that students are actively involved and it's a stress-free online class we provide to them. Now, let's have the washroom, another core element in the CBC structure to see how the washroom. So, you can see here the girls and boys washrooms have been separated by the partitions and to making sure the safety of the children and everybody and here always we'll be keeping the IMRs to make sure that especially this is a small children's area, IMRs will be always accompanying the teachers when they go to the washrooms. So, this is girls washroom area and this is boys washroom area and all the facilities I have provided we have this is one area and another north south block also we have the same features of the washroom area for the boys and girls. Apart from the staff washroom area is a different one, this is only for the students. Now, let us go inside and let us have the, what are the features or facilities we have provided for the younger ones, a tiny little tots. Let me take a glance at the washrooms. We can see the small wash basin according to their abilities, with the height, what they are processed there for that washing. And also you can see the small commodes or urinals and also been given for the small children according to their needs. So, developing these habits self-discipline is very important and always IMRs will be there, sometimes teachers will be coming with them to make sure that they are learning the basic toiletry habits in the early stage itself. So, this has been taken care completely with the support of IMRs and the teachers. These are dedicated for the small children. It is our commitment to make sure that their safety and they are learning the good habits in their life. Now, if you visit at the girls washroom area, you can see here it is separated by a partition to making sure that safety of our children. Since we do not have any students here, 
and no faculties are here right now it's my privilege to take you inside have a glance on the washroom area of the girls you can see here the small wash basin for the girl children as well as the toilets the indian type of standard type of toilets as well as the european standards but here mainly we focus on the indian toilet system standard toilet system so this is it and it has been uh, supported by all the imrs and they will be taking care of the student safety here and the teachers also will be coming here even in the pandemic situation we are always trying to maintain the cleanness of this toilets every day three four times the imrs will be cleaning because we have to ensure that the cleanness hygiene is very important aspect for us any time the government revise the order we may begin the academic years continue but we will be always ensure the cleanness of our campus that is a motto now from the lab on the washrooms toilets we will be moving into the biology lab area we look we can also see the kg classrooms that will be also another key features but see kb kg is not recommended in cpsc curriculum but even though we prefer to have a glance on the kg so the how we develop the new learning habits among the kg students we can see here the camera surveillance as are the cameras under 24 7 surveillance observations are going on let's have a quick glance on the junior kg classroom let me invite you to have a junior kg classrooms here you can see here the junior kg classrooms according to the age appropriate chairs and the tables have been given there so they can have a collaborative types of learning and we have very less population here 15 students have been taken admission this year and we are working with that one you can see here the activity rooms and the soft boards are there even they also have been provided with the cupboards so that they can keep their lunch box and other materials there when they come into the classrooms here also we can see here the projector is there and the whiteboard display is there so that classrooms are purely learning enriched classroom with more activity and fun as the kg curriculum recommends more so these are the glimpses and you can see here also the audio systems are the speaker system is also been enabled because always kg rhymes will be interesting and charming for them so that they can actively participate they can jump here bubble here and enthusiastic way they'll be enjoying the classroom activities inside apart from the activity room that is given to them these are the features of the kg classroom area that's why given a quick interaction or quick intro about this kg classroom now it's my pleasure to take you to the other third lab for us biology lab we have already completed physics lab chemistry lab now we'll be moving to the biology lab the specification and recommendation as per the senior secondary affiliation process of grade 11 and 12 let me take you to the biology lab here also you can see here this is the north block you can see here the ramp for physically challenged students when they are coming into the camp this campus is a inclusion that we have taken inclusive education we are giving support to all types of learners who has any difficulty any types of problem challenges we will be taking care special education needs and disabilities of learning and we have our counselor who is specialized in this one will be supporting them will be having meeting with the counselor in our live interaction also here we have since we have 247 student our counselor is a part timely employed person and mr michael will meet michael in the next round of meeting now let me take you into the biology lab here also we can see the play activity area for the kg students all the equipments have been placed here and for the last 6 to 7 months it is lying idle but still all the people scavengers and other staffs are maintaining it well so that the safety and whenever it is there cleanness has been ensured everything has been according to the standard specifications given here now let's have a glance on the biology lab biology lab also we can see here octagonal type of tables to make sure that 
learning is happens in a collaborative way we can see the wash basins and as well as all the materials are being here placed according to the needs of the students we can see the human uh, cupboards which we kept all the materials we can see the models have been displayed there specimens have been displayed there the chemicals or reagents for the various activities in for the biology practicals wash bottles slides and all the equipments for the studies of respirations and all been kept here including the microscope we kept everything inside for the time being because as the covid as i told you that some of our teachers nearly six to seven members have been suffered from the covid pandemic the school has been shut down for a period of time and due to the sanitization process was going on from the government side from the school side as per the instruction we kept almost all the material inside according to the recommended standards given by them you can also see the human torso has been hanging there for the studies of the students i have we have whiteboard teachers table chair and everything and the teacher also is now is under quarantine but they will be reporting soon and we are also maintaining the register the stock register and the movement register and the time table also has been maintained by the teachers this lab is taken care by two teachers one is miss nachita and one is miss babadarani nachita is a senior faculty member and and babadarani is a primary faculty member so here this lab is being utilized by the senior students as well as the primary students when they come and visit and they see the material hands on learning happens from the air end these are all learning enriched areas which focus bringing the quality and values to among our learners we can see the human torso is very important and some mandatory element for the biology lab where the students will be learning about the very skeletal system and all other various types of bonds that's bond structure which they have to learn these are the features of the biology lab and in so ensuring the safety since at present we don't have any dissections of the materials the other things have been not required according to the standard specification of the biology lab so all the materials microscope specimens slide models chart everything is been kept and the tables especially designed for a collaborative learning approach for the students in the biology lab now let's it's my pleasure to take you to the next lab that is the eca la eca room extra curricular activity room then we will be also visiting the mathematics lab it's also for the students purpose now we'll move to the extreme end of the north block building where we'll be seeing the eca room extra curricular activities room we have provided a specified time for our extra curricular activities that is we have given from 3 o'clock to 4:15 time given for all the students involving in various extra curricular activities inside the campus so extra curricular activities club activities all these things been specified and the students will be taking various extra curricular activities music drums guitar chilampam is a type of martial art in tamil nadu all these activities taking place in various parts of this campus we let's have a glance on the easy room where they focus on the drums keyboard the mainly has been doing it here let's have a glance on the easy rooms and there is a space we are provided on the sanitization for our those who are entering inside the campus right now the teachers only will be visiting in the easy room we can see here the drums has been placed here for students learning purpose and all the activities will be taken during the school hours time only and there are three days dedicated for the extra curricular activities in our time table the in charge teacher will be always taking the seat and we can see here there also a telephone intercom facility is provided the in charge teacher will be connecting with the teachers from the office itself the drinking water facility for the students in the eca activities when they are coming here also been provided and the water quality is ensured always by us to make sure that we are providing the aero water in our campus now here we will be moving into the next lab that is mathematics lab it's in the main building area where the academic department is there where the principal office and their mathematics lab 
then we will also see that councillor room in the main building area. Now let us move to the main building area. In the beginning as I conveyed to you that we have that administrative building area and academic building area. So the platforms are here, the main lobby area. Now I will be seeing that one that the we will be kept in, we have kept this well, councillor's room as well as the mathematics lab. If you stand here you can see that the arrow drinking water facility is provided throughout the campus from the arrow drinking water here, the can is here and the facility has been provided here and the water has been collected and will be given to all the students according to the designated cans which is kept throughout the campus. This office area, the counselor's room is situated in office area because it's, it's more privacy for interaction with the students inside the campus. So that wellness room, you can see here the wellness room, the counselor's room. Mr. Michael is the head of this counseling sections and he is, will be reporting on the day. Since due to quarantine period is also comes only in alternative days and we don't have a fully dedicated we have as per the CBS instructions below 300 students means we should have a part time counselor. Council also maintain and he has also telephone here facility intercom facility to interact with the teachers and students. All the facilities been given here. It's a privacy room private room so because students detail personal details has to be kept confidential with him and the counseling report also the parents will be coming and meeting the wellness teacher of the counselor so we kept as a confidential room and that's why it has been covered in a glass but it's in a safety has been ensured for the students and the parents now this is office building you can see here the office staffs have been here this is administrative building and we have the administrative manager and the staff supporting for the various activities admission process okay will be here we also have the printer facilities and the xerox facility inside the campus all these are helping to making sure that entire area is being covered now if you're looking at the cctv surveillance access we have two access entire cctv is being connected two monitors in here one you can see here the one is observed by the manager Mr. Lishmanji is always observing the CCTV access. He got the CCTV access in the campus and will be always seeing what is happening inside the campus and appropriate suggestions and remedies will be given by him. Actions also will be taken if it has been required. As we can see that all the cameras throughout the campus has been monitored by the administrative manager. Apart from that, office staff and one of the office, office administration person is also monitoring the surveillance of the camera. All the camera is accessed here also and it's also accessed through the computer system also. It has been connected through the computer. This all to ensure the safety of our children inside the campus also to monitor who we are, whoever is entering into the campus is being under observation. There is a register which they are maintaining at the main lobby area so that the person who comes to the campus has to record the name and the basic information and the purpose of visit inside the campus. This all enhanced the quality to ensure. Now from the main area, the lobby, if you look at outside, as I had told you, we have another big ground on the back side. It's basically used for the football as well as the badminton rackets, open badminton and all the major functions we are carried out here. The mass drill and in, in national, national days and Independence Day celebration, all the major functions we conduct here and including the annual days we are hosting it here in the outside. The big ground area is there. This is basically for the students. And for the football matches and the badminton and all the functions mass assembly mass drilling everything is organized under this one big playground area now the reception desk and we can also see here in this reception desk in the beginning as i told you you will get a the complete picture of the view of the campus you can see the main gate and also the boundary walls everything is visible and the main entrance area the free area that also has been visible to there you can also see here we have updated when the covid situation has came in throughout the india throughout the globe we have put the hands free sanitizer device you can see here there is no need to touch only show the hands free you will be having the sanitizer display and we also have the thermal scanner to make sure that whoever comes visit to the campus they have been screened by the office personalities 
This is to ensure that they don't have any temperature and they are not coming into the campus with any types of infections or disease. These are the safety measures and precautions. It is admission desk and reception desk since we are still going with the admissions. And you can see all the features and the parents when they come into the campus they can be, they will be seated here and the, the parents also has access to various books and newspapers with them whenever they are free they can read these newspapers to bring them reading habits among them also newspapers have been stand kept here. So when they are free waiting to meet the principal or the office administration staff they can utilize the time effectively involving in reading. Now let me have a glance let me take you into the main academic building area where the mathematics lab is being kept there. You can see here there is a principal office and there is a notice board with regards to the various important announcement what we are sharing with the teaching faculties and the parents. You can see that all the importance of academic calendars throughout the academic calendars and everything is given. CPAC examination circulars previous one, e-learning timetables that are being given there. The information about the standard mathematics, basic mathematics which is given to the grade 10 students. All the information up to date has been maintained on the monitor in the notice board. Let us take you all of you to the mathematics lab. Before mathematics lab, we are also taking care of students if they have any medical emergencies. You can see here medical care room with the bed facilities provided to them and we do not have any nurse but we are taking care of immediate measures. In case of emergency as a standard protocol, we inform the parents, the parents has to come and take the child into nearby health center. In case of any adverse condition, school take care its initiative, take the students into the hospital. All this has been taken care and the rest also been provided in this medical care room. Now let me take you to the mathematics lab. You can see here the mathematics lab is also another type of unique designing. You can see all the mathematics material has been kept here for the students enhanced learning learning enrichment activities all the material has been displayed here and it is also a collaborative table to make sure that they actively share the ideas among each other and they can record in their observation notes you can see here this is well equipped and these are cupboards have been kept there all the materials have been kept in the cupboards now we have taken this material outside because for the matter inspection purpose you can see that workbook is being given there kit count activity books for the various activities can be recorded by the students a copy of the same has been given to the students various activities we are also following the cpsc's mathematics activities the syllabus what is recommended by them for the various mathematics see mathematics is a core subject to bring a definite learning outcome from our learners and we are clearly focused on more mathematics activities and we are enriched with more teachers Mathematics department members is a very strong department. Mr. Saleh, the senior faculty, Kirti Gai is a junior faculty, and other members are there to taking care of the mathematics department. Or various materials available for according to the needs of the student, age appropriate also. You can see here the materials have been kept for their activities inside the mathematics lab. Now let us have a glance on the teachers table here, you can see the teachers table is also here and there are the records maintaining, you can see their movement register record is there and the stock register also the mathematics department teachers has kept their timetable here the lab periods and all. So all the timetables have been kept here and also the walls, you can see the walls they have given the display about the various personalities about the mathematics. So the more vision is always kept live with our students and giving all types of support because this is a semi-urban area and we are here to support our students continuously throughout the journey of learning. We ensure that all the community people has taken care in our campus and make sure that they get a good support from school management and lead them as a good leaders of tomorrow to make sure that we give a good education, good knowledge sharing with all our learners. Now we have completed the mathematics lab and the medical room and all the labs as per the CB specifications of senior secondary affiliation, physics lab, chemistry lab, mathematics lab, biology lab, easier rooms 
activity room, computer labs and all the classroom as per the specification standard measures that are given by the CBOC, CPSC, standard operating procedure. Everything has been completed. Now we are coming to the last stage that is the document verification. Before that, let me introduce to you our CEO, Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Wilson Anand, who is a Board of Governance, Board of Trustee, taking care of all the aspects related to the growth of the institution. Thank you for the sir for your support and all. So Wilson Anand is be taking care of the entire things, academics as well as non-academics areas to taking care of the support. Now I'll hand over today the mics to Mr. Chachi who will be detailing all the documents related with the CBC inspection VIOS regarding the senior secondary affiliation. All the documents will be scrutinized and all the documents will be shared with the IC members for the future communications and any questionnaires. Warm greetings to all the IC members and the CBC board members. It is my pleasure to be on this uh, virtual inspection and uh, I hope uh, our principal has explained the various infrastructure facilities and the classroom facilities for the upgradation to plus one and plus two for the next academic year that is from 2021. Now as uh, sir has specified, I will uh, explain the documents that is required for the upgradation to plus one and plus two. This is a booklet prepared by us for the application for recognition and upgradation to plus one and plus two. And this was submitted to the state government for the approval of the DEO and the affidavit has been signed by all the board of trustee from Vyrams Public School. The index page of all the details of the documents is being listed out here. We have the copy of affiliation that is granted by the CBSC New Delhi in the year 2016 as a provisional affiliation and we have the certificate of uh, recognition given by the DSC Chennai that is state government of Tamil Nadu and uh, this is a land map issued by the VAO and the local government body. Next we have the copy of registered lease deed in the name of uh, Sudarshan Educational Trust and we have the registered society and trustee details with all the trust members and the bylaws interested by the society and the trust. We have also attached the transfer of lease that is to the Vyrams Public School from Sudarshan Educational Trust. We have also attached the certificate of land, the copy of a resolution by the Panjayat and the building license for the school, and the structural and stability certificate that was inspected by the stability officer from the government of Tamil Nadu and we have also produced the health and sanitary certificate after the inspection by the sanitary persons and we have also maintained the sanitary standards given by the WHO in this uh, COVID-19 pandemic and uh, before in the inspection details sir has explained the different uh, measures we have taken for the safety of the children and safety of the campus by installing hand-free sanitizer, thermal scanners for uh, thermometers and we have uh, we are issuing masks to various students in the faculties who are visiting the school and we have controlled the staff members in the school up to 50 percent and we are maintaining the standards of the CBSC and MHRD that is now Ministry of Education and uh, the other documents these are the originals that has been approved by the state government of Tamil Nadu for the upgradation to plus one and plus two. So this is a format of CBSE that has been given for the upgradation to grade 11 and 12 which was uh, countersigned by the Chief Educational Officer Pudukote. He is uh, the Chief Educational Officer and as CBSE standards he is a District Educational Officer. We have attached the affiliation details which has got in the year 2016 as a provisional affiliation to the year 2020 and uh, due to the pandemic situation we have given an extension up to June 2021. This is the approval from CBSC for the change of name from Sudarshan Vidya Vikas to Vairams Public School that was issued in the year 2019.
This is a certificate of recognition given by the government of Tamil Nadu under the Vairams Public School and it has been extended to the year 2022. And this is a building safety certificate issued by the Tasildar of Pudukote. The fire and safety certificate after the inspection of the school of the various fire safety equipments and the fire extinguishers that are being installed in our school campus. The sanitary certificate issued by the local government of Pudukote which has ensured we are providing safe and uh, secure uh, campus and safe water drinking facilities. We have also enclosed the strength details of uh, last academic year that is 2019 and 20. We have 231 students in total and we had uh, 14 students appearing for the board 10 examinations. And it's my pleasure to show you the other original documents that is required for the upgradation of grade 11 and 12. This is affidavit signed by the trust members of the management. The original of the fire and safety certificate. The original building certificate issued by the Tasildar of Pudukote. The sanitary certificate issued by the block health supervisor of Pudukote. And this uh, affiliation issued by the CBSC Delhi, the state recognition as I have explained earlier and the trust deed documents which ensures the Sudarshan Educational Trust is running this school for the past 10 years. The certificate of land issued by the local Panjayat government and this is a plan approval given by the village Panjayat for the construction of this campus and maintaining of the school campus. By this we have come to the end of the certificates that is being required for the affiliation and upgradation to plus one and plus two. We are uh, happily waiting for the upgradation and uh, our students will have a continuous learning in our campus. We have 14 students in this academic year and we have grade nine, 26 students who will be appearing in the March 2022 board examinations. So thank you. Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Shashi, giving all the details about the various documents related with the CPSC affiliation for senior secondary. I hope we are coming to the last part of it. Conclusions. Let me give a synopsis about the various aspects we have covered for this videography. Main gates we have covered with all the details description about the various features, the playground area, outdoor facilities we are providing to our learners for the various activities inside the campus. We have also visited all the laboratories as per the standard measurements given by the CPSC, physics lab, chemistry lab, biology lab, mathematics lab, even we have visited the computer lab. Also we have taken a visit at a glance at the library also taken ECU rooms where the extracurricular activities been taken for our students. Drinking water is a very important element for our students. We have covered that drinking part area also, uh, taking care of the measures of our students, providing quality drinking water facilities through the arrow water we are providing. Covered fire and safety equipment, the safety measures that we are taking care of in this campus, including the surveillance of the camera, CCTV camera that we are throughout installed in our campus. We also visited the additional classrooms required for plus one plus two senior secondary classes that is given for the students in the south block building. Then other classroom also we have visited the indoor uh, classrooms of the KGs and other various areas of the classrooms where all classrooms are as you must have noted that equipped with the, the digital boards and also the smart boards have been kept there. The wellness room, the counselor room also, they are taking care of the needs and necessities of the student who is having any types of sort of problem, academic related problem have been taken care. Finally, we conclude all the document verifications for the CBSE senior secondary affiliation. 
already all the documents has been uploaded in the IRCs. The same has been uploaded in the CBC Senior Secondary Affiliation Approval Sign. Now, any further clarity is required, any fine things, we are happy to serve and we are looking for a bonding relationship with the CPSC in the coming academic year with the induction of 2021 Senior Secondary Classes for Grade 11 for our students. A learning never stops, it's a continuous process. We have to ensure a continuous support for our learners in the coming academic year. And Virens Public School has always have a vision to provide holistic education and good leadership of our learners. We are committed to provide literacy to our learners in the coming academic year. We request the support of CPSC to enhance strength, enhance our vision, enhance our support for learners by inducting and introducing senior secondary affiliation for 2021-22 onwards for the batches of grade 10 appearing for the CBSE board examination in March 2021. Thank you. Thanks again to all the CPSC members, IC members for the support towards the VI virtual inspection for the CPC affiliation of senior secondary classes. Thanks to you, thanks to all of you.